Libra, how you doing? So I'm hearing Chris, Christine, Chrissy, Chrissy Ra, Chrissy Ray, Chrissy Ma, uh, Christine, uh, Dean, Danielle, Danny, Glover, Life Path 7, uh, Dan, Daniel, Son, something to do around Cobra Kai, maybe, or Kai, Jai, Gianna, Jason, Julian, Jason, Justin, Jackie, Jasmine, Jack, Jackie's son, <coughs> your family, your mother, your brother, your sister, I mean, what is it, Gathering, Gavin, Stacy, Steve, Sarah, anyway, uh, yeah, there's just a few names out of the hat, uh, Hattie, Hattrick, three, might be around a Piscean for a lot of you, uh, Hattrick, scored, some of you might be scoring crack or drugs, uh, or you've scored, woohoo, the jackpot, some of you might be gambling, a load of money and stuff like that, and you've just won the jackpot, or Jack, or Jackie Julian, or someone's a prize winner, okay, someone could have won someone over, is what I'm hearing, like I've just won your heart, like I've just, I've just kind of started to warm up to you, and you're a winner, okay, so some of you do scratch cards, because I'm picking up like a scratch card, and it says winner on it, or winner, winner, chicken dinner, some of you might be going out to dinner with someone, or you're winning something, like you're doing really well in something, uh, thing, or Steve, um, yeah, doing really well, is what I'm hearing, some of you might be uh, around fitness, <laughs> okay, and uh, you're doing really well here, uh, anyway, so or a nurse, someone's around a nurse, so some of you might be doing anything, um, like I said, it might be hospital related, and you go and have a checkup, and they say, no, you're doing really well, blah, 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 so on and so forth, and it might just be like a general checkup, or general A&E, or something like that, or Steve, that would be me, um, but like um, going into the hospital, or something like that, having a checkup, uh, so on and so forth, I always pick up a lot of, I only follow Vedic, Vedic astrology, like right? because I have Libra in twice in Vedic, um, and I always kind of hear my own messages when I do twos or do Libras, and uh, I, I mean I don't really ever follow Vedic astrology, but I don't know if it means a lot to you, but like my rising and Ketu, uh, which is the rising, right, is Libra, but I always kind of hear my own names and my own sort of stories coming up in Libras. I'm like, well, in 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 my actual birth chart, I don't have any Libra at all, really. Um, but yeah, I always hear my own stories. Anyway, <laughs> so I'm always fascinated by Libra. I'm kind of like, ah. yeah, so I don't know. You might follow Vedic astrology or anything. Any of you astrology out there believe in uh, Vedic astrology, uh, that it would definitely ring true uh, in tarot. Anyway, so um, so let's see. Libra. <coughs> Libra. <coughs> hey, doing Libra. So these are going to be messages for you here. <coughs> uh, excuse me. Um, so yeah, it might be like visits to the hospital, blah, 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 which I've actually got in an hour. I've got uh, an appointment to talk about my depression in an hour. <laughs> and uh, the reason why I haven't been on screen so much is because I'm also taking medication, <laughs> which is uh, Saxenda to lose weight, which I am really doing extremely well on. But my God, does it give you really bad fatigue and also a nicky stomach. Uh, so uh, I've been getting a lot of fatigue just lately, Libra. Um, so I've kind of been, uh, and I'm also picking up like a lot of hostile energy around YouTube. So I just kind of sometimes, cause <laughs> I actually come up in my Scorpio reading. Like I want to keep my head down. Like I just want to kind of like, Oh, stay out of the way sometimes when the energy gets very like, yeah, where, the, where I can feel a lot of hostile energy around. I'm normally like, well, okay, it's time to back off a little bit here. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, uh, let's see what you got coming up for you, Libra. So it might be anything around the hospital, that sort of stuff. Uh, talking about depression or weight, either way. Okay, but whichever way it is, you're doing really well, is what they're saying, Libra, or this person's going to tell you you're doing really well. Okay, so you're getting well again, Jen. Um, let's see. Like, keep going. I keep hearing those. Keep going, keep going, keep going. You're doing really well. Keep going, you're doing well. So, I don't know. It might be where you're trying to get over something like that, and people are just saying, you know, well done, keep going, don't stop, this kind of stuff here. Okay. Uh, anyway, so Libra. So your reading with these are going to be completely and utterly differently. Or Laura, Lucy, Lucy, Louise, Louisiana, Capricorn, Gemini. Um, than what they are over on Patreon. Your reading over on Patreon will always be a weekly reading or something like that. Okay. Uh, I think I did uh, got a different one for you guys. But anyway, I'll tell you at the end. Um... And it's always a day before anything comes out on here. And these are going to be completely different messages than what you will get over on YouTube, uh, over on Patreon. So, Libra, calm down. Some Someone's trying to, like, Carmel, 
Melanie, Carmel, Carmel. Don't forget you can also watch this as a two, a Life Path two, if you're a Life Path two. Um, Libra. Any messages that you want Libra to hear, please. What's in the box? Oh, Jackie, 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 Jackie is what I'm hearing. Facebook, YouTube, Twitter with a big blocked energy on it. So someone could be blocking someone out on their Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, Ustream. Uh, well, that was what I was on. I'm not on Ustream anymore. <laughs> Ustream, we scream, ice cream for ice cream. Some of you are blocking out the ice cream and you're like, you know what, I'm going to cut out the ice cream. I am no longer going to be eating ice cream. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, vanilla ice, ice, ice baby. Um, baby D. Anyway, I don't know. Some of you are probably going on a load of things on your multimedia and blocking out a load of people, blocking out an ex, uh, maybe not wanting to talk to this person, taking people off multimedia sites and stuff like that. That would also, like I said, that's like YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, going through your feed. This also came up in a Sagittarius reading where Libra, I think, was also involved. Um, but there was a lot of hostile energy around YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, people having a go at people that have an opinion that speak for a living. Um, so any of you paranoid lot on stuff like that, someone's getting paranoid, believing or that an ex may be watching them and stuff like that. It's kind of like going through any of your social media sites and kind of realizing, okay, you don't hold any purpose. So I need to kind of get rid of you. Uh, why people block people, I don't know why people actually block people it's normally because they've got something to hide if they're blocking people i don't know why it's up to you guys but you know if it be youtube it would be i'm sick to death of your narky comments so you're blocked so you can leave as many comments as you like but that doesn't matter okay facebook now uh, you can't really block comments so that was obviously going to be going through all of your Facebook stuff and saying, okay, let's get rid of all of these people that are on here that, that don't serve me any purpose. Okay. Uh, Flickr, is that still a part of um, Pinterest? I mean, would you block people on Pinterest? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but like I said, it might be where you're kind of like, right, I'm mad enough for this idiot keeps stalking and spying on me. So I'm just going to block the person all the same here. Or I might be thinking... And paranoid that they're watching and I don't know that they are. So I might as well just find their name and block them anyway. There could be stuff like that here. Um, let's see. Libra. Libra, Zebra, Debra, Debra. Debbie Ma. Uh, it could even be, like I said, man, it could be around your children. They could be on their phone quite a lot around, you know, on their phones and their tablets and multimedia. And you're trying to take over control of your children saying, look, you need to cut down on your pork grind, mate. Stop doing so much exercise around your finger and thumbs. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Libra. Any messages for Libra? We will also clarify these Libra. So you got theft. There you go. This came out for another reading where I said it was someone that was stealing people's ideas. And it was around YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, I don't trust you. I don't want you around me. I believe that you're out to get me. I think that you're after my money, my ideas, uh, anything of to do that is financial. I think that you might be stealing my clients, my idea, my people. Like, just like blocking people out and thinking, right, you're no fucking good for me. I've got to get rid of you. Like I said, man, if it's a narcissist that is in anybody's life, man, y'all don't need them on Facebook. <laughs> right, you don't need people like that on, you know, that, uh, I, I, I mean, I, I fucking, I, I can't, I, uh, pff, I hate you, <laughs> sorry, I hate, uh, Facebook, me, I barely use Facebook, man, I, I, I don't give a fuck who watches on Facebook, but like, you know, I don't never put anything out interesting on Facebook, really, <laughs> like, uh, I have a very meaningless life, Libra, but like, um, yeah, it might be like I said, man, where you're you don't trust this person around your Facebook multimedia sites and you're kind of like, right, <clears throat> you know, uh, robbed, loss, theft, physical or emotional. Like I said, man, it might be where you're just plagued by this person's like narcissism and you're kind of like, I have got to get you out of my life. And the only way I can do that is by blocking everything that you have about you and just get you off 
quick. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Libra. Um, but don't forget, man, a lot of you can also be paranoid thinking. Like I said, man, if you've just split up with someone, okay, because I am kind of picking this up as X marks the spot around a Capricorn or a Taurus or maybe Sag, okay, and like um, some of this person here could be looking back at this person thinking, fuck, I can't get on anymore because I'm blocked. Here, <laughs> right, here. Um, but like if, you know, if you've got an ex or there's been a situation and you're fed up, you know, you're kind of like, oh, I'm just blocking you out, you know. I'm not listening to what you're saying, you know. Uh, Libra. Libra. <laughs> to, funny enough, this brings up a, a very strange uh, scenario that it's kind of making me think of. It might be around your family. Like, I had to block my mother off my Facebook a long time ago because every time I posted a picture, she would, uh, if I bought a product or something like that, she would have, like, people that I know on there going back, feeding her information of stuff she would come back and question me over. There was nothing. Oh, oh really? Oh, you bought that? How much was that? Oh, oh, you're buying yourself things, are you? And I was like, this is none of your fucking business. And, uh, like, and uh, oh, you've shown the carpet. Oh, you've just put a picture up of your dad that died, you know, and I don't like that picture of him. I want you to put a better picture up of it. Uh, and I was like, right, you're off, bruv. <laughs> I blocked my mother off, you <laughs> off Facebook <laughs> fucking ages ago, man. I wanted to stop having an input into what I can post on my own Facebook. So I thought, okay, well, you're not really serving much of a purpose apart from questioning me, so you're out. You know, I don't have no problem in cutting people out of my life, Libra. I really don't, like, you know. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> let's see, uh, Libra. Libra, what's going on around Libra, please? Libra, 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 Libra. Um, so, broke ass. So, man, it could be someone that's as broke as a joke, and it's around money. And this person's constantly always hounding you down for money. Like, they're like, money this, money that, I have more money, you have my, I don't have any, you then, 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 and you're like, fuck, I don't give a shit, bruv. I'm cack lovered, <laughs> is what we say in the UK. Cack lovered, bruv. Stony broke. Um, but like, uh, yeah, someone could be completely and utterly broke, no money, and you don't trust this person about telling them how much you have. Whether you have any money or whether you don't, you just don't trust this person. This could be catfishing as well, like catfishing. <laughs> I think I said that twice, or the name Cat or Catty or Catia. Um, but someone that's always after your money, like they set things up because all they think about is money. They're, they're governed by it could be dealing with a Capricorn, <laughs> but like money, 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 and it's all about money. Okay, show me the money. I'm sorry, I can't show you any money because I haven't got any money. Okay, so it might be someone that stole your clients, your money, your like your life, like, and you're kind of like, I'm gonna have to block this person out here. Okay, because this person's wanting money, but they haven't got any, <laughs> right? But there could be this game around YouTube or Facebook. Why would Facebook be involving money? Why would multimedia? So it'd have to be messaging someone about money. Like, please tell me you guys are not, like, messaging people your credentials and shit like that, right? <laughs> that they don't have access to your cards or stuff like that. What's that? Cards? Tarot cards. They have access to my tarot card. Channel. They have access to my channel. What is that? You gave someone access to your channel? Or you gave something away? Is this where someone signs something over to a person and they gave their... Like, they gave up here and gave it, gave it to someone else? Govern? The governor? Oh, my God, did you realise? Liz, <laughs> we had a member of parliament now. We've got a new prime minister... She lasted a week, bruv, and she's fucked off. She's like, Britain? Fuck Britain. I've just spent all this time getting into Britain and being the Prime Minister. Don't you worry. Here, here. We're going to sort out Britain and all of the taxes and everything that you're paying and the, the, the water bills and the electric and everything else. And we're going to sort this out. And we are now in Parliament. 
Give her a week, bruv, and she fucked off. That We ain't got a prime minister anymore. She lasted about as long as the other one did. Uh, bring back Boris Johnson is my fucking... Bring him back. He done well. He took on Britain when it was absolutely as a pile of shit. It turned more to a pile of shit, but doesn't it really? Doesn't it always? Someone could be on Broken Arts Beat the most. If anybody... <laughs> someone could be on my YouTube. On my Facebook. Uh, here. But like, um, here... Uh, yeah, we, we're fucking, she's out, bruv. She's quit. <laughs> she quit. She's like, she's only in Parliament for a week and she quit. Like, really? What the hell is wrong with you, lady? Well, it's kind of like, oh, Britain, really? Fuck it. It's, it's an absolute pile of shit. NHS? Money? How the hell are we going to do this? We can't. Oh, fuck that. I Just leave them. <laughs> I think we had three prime ministers that all got gained power and they all quit, like, really quickly. And Boris Johnson was the only one that dare stand up for a year or two to do his job. He did, like, man. Did you realise that Boris Johnson was is actually an American? Did you know that? Boris Johnson, our old Prime Minister, he was actually born and raised in America. Like, he is an American. And uh, he came to Britain at a very early age and uh, obviously became the Prime Minister of Britain. But he's an American. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, let's see. Uh, any of you know that? Um, <laughs> let's see. Um, Libra. What's Libra got coming up? Libra. Um, so, child services. So, this is to do with an ex of someone that you've got with children. And they're trying to take your kids away from you, for a lot of you. Kids at risk of being taken or is about to. Reporting something, neglect, and also abuse. So this, like like I said, man, it might be where your children are on multimedia, okay? Your kids are on multimedia, and they're getting abused energy here of children. So, like I said, man, you know, I don't know. I don't really want to get involved in that, like, if you guys have got kids. Social media these days is also very dangerous, because, like, TikTok and God knows what else. But, um, you know, I wouldn't advise going to steal your children's phone and taking it from them and just, I don't know, man. I don't really want to get wrapped up in whatever it is that you decide to do with around your kids. But I'm kind of picking up that, like, it might be to do with, like, your children and social media here. Okay? Social media. Um, but, yeah, child services is more than likely, like, I have to have a go between between my kid and my ex because they're constantly trying to take money from me. And this is where an ex turned it around on someone and said, right, I've, I've noticed this in narcissistic ex relationships uh, where the ex suddenly turns it around the male energy, starts to gain access to the children, and then they turn the social services around on the woman and says, okay, now you are asking me, the male, for money that I never paid you anyway. Now I have one of the children. I'm going to start charging you to pay for their clothes and their money and God knows what else that they want. I'm a man. I have just as much right as what you do as a woman. They came from me as much as what they did you. So now I'm going to make you pay for it and as you were making me pay for it. And it's that kind of thing here of like, well, we both had kids. And if I had to pay, now you've got to pay. Here. And this is also what happens with children when they grow up and they have kids of their own. Okay. And the children are old enough to have children. And then they become, the parents become grandparents. And then because of that, the ex-husband starts to say, I don't want that bitch, blah, blah, blah. Or that asshole that you're now with that, in, that has anything to do with my grandchildren because I don't like him for you because she or he is not right for you and I was because I was the knock and the blah, blah. And then the children, uh, it's a joke. <laughs> it's an absolute joke, bruv. It is, honestly. Uh, the way some human beings carry themselves here. What's that in Kerry or Carrie or Carrie or Carol or Carol Ann? Uh, one more card, please, for uh, Libra. Um, and then you've got Queen Rising. <coughs> Stepping into power. That'll probably be a Capricorn that says that they're a boss. 
here, but stepping into power, uh, praised, uh, what the hell, I can't see that, Comment, coming up, spotlight, someone's in the spotlight, here in the spotlight, Chris Cornell, uh, Chris uh, Martin, Danielle Martin, um, rise upon you, now could anybody deny you? Cause I came here with love And it feels so much brighter since I met you Anyway, so let's have a look at what this Facebook is around Libra Facebook, why do they have blocked Facebook? What's that involving? Well, it could be to do with an earth, uh, an earth sign or a fire sign It's also like a sexual predator energy here as well like flirting and teasing and um, this is man you gotta be careful around if you've got kids online here um, but yeah there is something about I think that this is blocking out the husband or the wife that I had children with here that's what I think it is is blocking out an ex um, because I don't want them on my social media and I don't want my life in social media either. So I'm kind of like blocking my ex-husband or wife out here. It's really what I kind of think it is. And it might be to do with the person that you had children with. Like you had a, you had a child and you keep getting like, or someone keeps, you keep communicating with an ex. Uh, what's the theft energy here for? Theft. Theft. I think this could be a cappy. The Knight of, nine, uh, Knight of Pentacles is normally a Capricorn for me here. Um, but like I said, man, this is also like lingerie and like flirtatious behavior and like sexual kind of tension. And like, you know, this is why I find this really weird. And uh, it did come up in Libra readings a while ago. Now, I don't care who does it, but, you know, it's also like, you know, if... <laughs> I don't know if this happens to men, right? And you've probably heard me saying this a lot before. But, like, if you put up a hell of a lot of sexually flauntatious uh, pictures of yourself up on Facebook, okay, and you put a lot of, like, you know, black and white, nudey kind of, like, showing, revealing and stuff like that, if you put a lot of those sort of things up on multimedia... What do you expect? Like, honestly, like, what do you expect? Because this is like, well, I put out loads of pictures of myself and now I'm getting fed up with it, the fact that everybody's watching it. Well, <laughs> like, why would you do that in the first place? Um, you know, I, I don't get it. Like, you know, I, I don't. Vanity, right? It's just kind of like this, well, I feel cute today and I want to put out, like, loads of pictures of myself, but... Why would you need to put a picture of yourself up to make yourself feel good? Like, because you're going to draw attraction. You you will draw people in, you know. Um, theft could be in the family here. Something to do around the family. Um, what's the son here for? Why, do they, why is the son around the theft? Is it your son? I'm hearing it's your son. Um, the fool. Someone at a distance from someone. The cards are really not showing me too many signs of what the top cards say. What's broke ass mean? Broke ass, what's that for? Broke ass. Uh, who's that? The magician, someone that's spiritual. Virgo, life path nine. Someone that hasn't got any money, maybe. Spiritually trying to earn money, but they're doing it for free. <laughs> not earning any money or a living from it. Um, the cards are showing me something completely different than this top set of cards here. What is child services here for? Child services. Nines. King of, right. Libra. I did this over on your reading. Because you were getting so many kings and queens about exes, future partner, ex-partner, new partner... Like your ex-partner having the same placements and it was just full of kings and queens all the time, okay? Exes, future people, new people, ex-children, baby mama, blah, 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 so on and so forth, all mixed up in your reading. 
I did a different reading for you that is over on um so we're just going to do you a few more cards here not clarify them because I'm getting a lot of um I'm getting a lot of strange messages that that are around you that I don't think tarot readings are going to probably give you the answers and maybe what these ones can okay so Libra what else have they got uh low IQ uh Mm. Someone may not have enough um, knowledge about something here. Like they can't get a job so much because uh, there isn't so much of an IQ there. Okay. Uh, and I can't use, like I can't get a better job because I don't have qualifications. You know, I didn't do very well at school, you know, and blah, blah, blah. And I have a low IQ. Uh, so it's difficult for me to earn any money, which means that, you know, I might be a person. There's nothing wrong with that, guys. Trust me, there really isn't. But I'm just picking up, like, someone that has to take, like, very meaningless jobs and kind of like, oh, God, right, you know, do I have to really fucking work at McDonald's or, like, something like that? And I have never really had a great education. I really didn't have much chance in life. And I have to kind of take whatever kind of job it is that I'm given. And I can't really use my intellect, even though I might have some. I just can't seem to get a chance and a job in order to use what I might be good at. And I have to always kind of take these fucking crap jobs that kind of come my way that really don't pay me a lot of money here. Okay. <clears throat> um, let's see. Libra. Libra. I used to do this when I actually used to work for a Libra. It was a nice job. It was driving children as a taxi, uh, you know, seven here, yeah, driving for a Libra. But it was really for retired folk. It was really for retired folk because the wages were so poor um, and it was part time stuff. So the wages really weren't very good. And some people used it as their actual main basis of a job. But it just didn't pay. It just didn't pay a lot at all. Um because you, you you never got paid for, like, travel. <laughs> Even though you are in a taxi, you never got paid for travel. You just got paid when the kids were on the actual bus itself. That's when you got paid, when you pick up a client or a person. You know, um, in this aspect, there is this kind of like, oh, I'm not getting paid any money. You know, that kind of thing here. Um, <clears throat> Libra, Libra. That's why I quit. <laughs> Made my own business. Uh, anyway, let's see. Be your own boss. Libra. Can't beat being your own boss. Moving on. Think. Thank you, next. That was came up in the last reading that I did. Thank you, next. Next. What's this moving on? Thank you, next, for... Uh, yeah, I'm walking away and leaving for a King of Swords. Uh, so you might be going towards a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius and moving on from your past and going towards an air sign here for a lot of you. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius could be an Aquarian energy because that's also eight. OK, some of you are trying to leave this husband behind or partner behind from the past. Your children here also might keep traveling backwards and forwards to this king as well. OK. Uh, and they have to have interaction with an ex. Uh, what is this low IQ to do with? Libra. What? A Libra has a low IQ? I very much doubt that. <laughs> Libra's like, sorry Libra, but you don't come up as quite as an intelligent as Pisces do. <laughs> but the most intelligent signs, uh, well emotionally intelligent, would definitely be Pisces, Gemini and Libra. Pisces, Gemini, Libra, uh, I, well, as far as I know, but also within my spiritual book, would definitely be Pisces, Gemini, Libra, especially if you have, uh, like me, for instance, God's honest truth, right? I'm as thick as two short sticks, me. I can't read or write very well at all, but I have emotional intelligence, right? And I know how to run a business and certain things that I'm good at. So I use whatever I'm good at as a tool to be good at that. If I can't do something, I don't even bother wasting my time with it because I'm not very good at it. So I don't bother myself with that. My IQ is shit. I failed at school completely and utterly. Didn't get no qualifications. I was an absolute dunce at school. Didn't want to didn't know. Like, I was a very late beginner at school. Okay. 
And, um, you know, I just, I was just behind. Like, my whole life felt as if it was behind. When people were succeeding, I just felt as if I was always, well, I was always kept back at school as well. But, like, I progressed later in life. Like, when everybody were getting hairs and everything like that, I was late. <laughs> like, I was, I was just kind of like, I was not one of those people that would fit in with the normal. My body clock was also behind the normal people. Uh, I didn't have to start shaving. Now I can't stand it. But when everybody was shaving, I never had to shave. Like, I didn't have hair that was growing on my face. So I was always had the piss took out of me when I was at school because I didn't have hair on my face. Now I do. I can't stand it. <laughs> but do you know what I mean? Like, I was one of these kids that was always behind and late in everything that came up in my life. Um... And like my IQ basically bases off seprophilia, which is Gemini in Mars, okay, and um, Aquarius in Venus and Mercury, okay, and Libra in Vedic also, you know, rising and also, uh, what do you call it? So I have all these places of seprophilia of, of IQ, okay, being emotionally intelligent and knowing people, but when it comes to like, you know, I need to go for a, a, a fucking high paid job of club. Uh, I'd have no idea. If I went for anything, it would more than likely be in social services with children and teaching them, uh, teaching them as a teacher of such uh, to help them out of like you know abuse and mental abuse and so on and so forth. Going into drug addiction and like you know doing all of that kind of stuff is pretty much the job I would go if I didn't do this. I would try and use my intellect around people than what I would of like okay I need to like write a load of things and stuff like that. No, I, I won't be no good at that. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Low IQ around the Libra. Why would, well, tell me more about justice very quickly for Libra. I've got my appointments in half an hour. Uh, here. King of Pentacles. Really? Well, that's not a low IQ. That's a high, o high o uh, IQ here. Um, like I said, man, it, you might have a very low IQ, but you could have like a very good business or a job or this could be your ex that gave you all of the money here through a divorce <laughs> you probably don't give a fuck whether you have a good iq or not because <laughs> someone here is financially physically enabled like i said man this is a spiritual person also that might have a very light low iq like myself i have libra in my chart right but like um no fucking idea about you know quantum goddamn fucking whatever <laughs> like you know but when it comes to certain things that does not mean that you can't uh, have a very good business, you know, that you don't have money. You know, all you need to do is follow your calling. These are tarot readers as well, stuff. But like, uh, you know, you don't need to follow the calling of fucking society to say that you're ever good at anything or not. It doesn't matter a shit. You know, I came from nothing. Me. Self-made man came from nothing. Okay. And uh, started saving when I was 26. I'm now 46. <laughs> when I was 26, I decided to start saving money and being addicted to saving money. Yeah. For a rainy day, you never know. When you've got security of money, everything else just seems to fall into place, Libra. You know, use what you're good at. And I think a lot of you probably are. You know, if you're good at scamming, <laughs> you know, if you're a scam artist and you're good at ripping people off and stealing people's money, there you go, okay? Don't look me up. <laughs> well, like, uh, you know, uh, yeah, I mean, if you're good at that, okay, well, someone's got to be good at something, right? Anyway, there you go. So thanks very much, guys. I really do appreciate it. Uh, if you want your weekly reading, you will find it on the link provided below for Patreon. It's Patreon that keeps me afloat, guys, so I really hope that you do consider, even if you just join the, the lowest tier. It's like 3 or $4, and you get two monthly readings within that. That really does help, if nothing else. Okay, but like this reading uh, and all of the monthly uh, weeklies will be on the silver or the gold tier. Obviously, the gold tier has all of the... Um, Teaching videos and stuff that I do on there as well for you to binge watch and look. Uh, and then it has all the monthlies and weeklies. But it has only just been opened last month. So I, uh, I'm not going to go into it anymore. But silver or gold tier, the links are below. Thanks very much, Libra, and I'll see you soon.